Drowning happens so quickly. In ch young children, it can happen in 30 seconds. It's so fast and it's silent. He was a blonde haired, blue eyed little firecracker. <laughs> Just a very joyous little spirit. So I knew I wanted to keep him safe around the water. Um, I knew that included swimming lessons and I had gotten him in swimming lessons, but it was more like the mommy and me lessons. So getting used to the water, not so much learning what to do in the water. So I wanted something else to help me with keeping him safe around the water. And I um, looked around, I talked to moms. Everybody was recommending puddle jumpers. You know, I looked at the puddle jumper, I researched it, it looked safe, it seemed safe from everything that I read. And so I went ahead and got one of them and just started him in a puddle jumper from the time he was around a one year old. I tried to put his towel around him with the puddle jumper on him and I couldn't um, because it was just too big. Um, so I took the puddle jumper off of him and put his towel around him and I sat him right next to me in a chair next to me. Um, and then I turned to tell my friend something and then when I looked down to check on Judah again, um, he had already slipped off away from us. So then I ran around the pool, I was screaming his name and by that point my husband was kind of, what's going on? And uh, I found him um, lying face down in the shallow end of the pool right next to the stairs. He would go into the water with the puddle jumper on every single time he went into the water. So through the process of always having that on, he never learned what his own body could do, could and couldn't do in the water. And so he assumed that he could swim when he really couldn't. He thought, I can go to the water and I can float because every other time I've gone to the water, I've been able to float. What he didn't understand was that it was the device that was keeping him up. And that's what we're talking about when we say that false sense of security. They, they just don't make that connection at that young age. Um, that is the device keeping them up and not themselves. So the puddle jumper does keep the child in a vertical position. It's not actually meant to teach someone how to swim. So it puts them in a vertical position uh, to where they can keep their head up above water to breathe. The problem with that is that it is also the drowning position. It gives them muscle memory for that position. So when they go into the water without the device on, they'll automatically get into that position and, uh, and then it'll make the drowning faster and easier. The basic message is not to use flotation devices with your children during swim times uh, because all of them will give that child the false sense of security. However, the puddle jumper in particular also causes other problems. It causes that vertical positioning in the water, whereas a lot of life jackets, if they're made well, they will actually pull a child onto their back to get them into a floating breathing position. So they don't have the, that same issue as a puddle jumper in that regard. I always say that I get to carry his legacy with me. Every time I see a, a little child who's gotten one of our scholarships and who is floating and swimming and doing really well, I'm, I'm always thinking of Judah and I'm always thinking of, this is what you're doing, baby boy. You know, you're saving these little lives. Your life is saving these little lives. <laughs>